Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we're going to be adding problems with fractions and mixed numbers. But before we do that, do you know why I stopped giving math tests at the zoo? Because it's full of cheetahs. Get it? Cheetahs? Cheaters? Che All right, I'll stick with the math problem right here. Here's our first problem, 7 eighths plus 1 6. Now, my eyes are always looking at the denominator. This is called the denominator. That's called the numerator. And when I add fractions, I like to have the denominators as the same number. Makes it way easy to add or subtract. These do not have the same number. How do I do it? Well, I'm going to find the least common multiple of 8 and 6. So I write down 8 right here and 6 right here. And I'm going to go ahead and start just doing multiples of 8. So 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2, 16. 8 times 3, 24. Let's do multiples of 6 right now. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. And then 6 times 4, you got it, 24. So they both share 24 as their least common multiple. And that's what we're going to change the denominator over to. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and put down an equal sign right here and an equal sign. And I'm going to put down 24 here for my denominator and 24 over here for my denominator. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this just, just so I have some little room here to work with. Now, how many times does 6 what do I have to multiply 6 to get to 224? 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4, 24. So I need to take 6 times 4 here. Now, and I could have started with this one. I don't know why I started with the bottom one. But 6 times 4 equals 24. Whatever I do with the denominator, I have to do the same thing with the numerator. So I need to put times 4 right there. So 1 times 4 would equal 4. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to do this one right here. 8 times what equals 24? 8 times 3 equals 24. So I need to put times 3 up here. I need to do the same thing what I did down here, up there. So times 3 right here. And 7 times 3 equals 21. So I put 21 right here. All right. So those are my new fractions I'm going to be working with. Now, I did not change the value. 7 eighths equals 21 24 and 1 sixth equals 4 24 Now, all I have to do is add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. I'm, I'm going to put my new problem down here. So 21 plus 4 equals, you got it, 25. So I'm going to put 25 right here. And I keep the denominators the same, which would be 24. There's my answer, but this is called an improper fraction, and I need to change that over to a proper fraction. This just doesn't make sense because an improper fraction is one that your numerator, the number up here, is bigger than the number on the bottom. You can't have that, all right? It just, just doesn't make sense. So let's change it over to something that we can make sense out of. And I do have a video on this channel that uh, kind of puts that more into uh, understanding. Um, I did some graphs with pizza. So what I need to do is divide, all right? So I'm going to put 25 right here and 24 right there, all right? And now I'm going to divide. How many times does 24 go into 25? One time. One times 24 is 24. W subtract, and then I have a remainder of one. This right here is a whole number, all right? So I put that right here. This is my remainder, but that is my numerator. So I put the 1 over here. And then the 24 was my denominator, just like that. So you keep 24 right there. So that's my answer. 25th, 24th equals 1 and 1 24th. That's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Uh, ready to go work on our next one. The next one, you'll notice, has a mixed number. These are whole numbers. And then we have our fractions. And did you see what I'm seeing? The denominators, they're not the same. But we're going to change them over. So let's go ahead and put an equal sign right here. And 
Without doing the least common multiples, can you figure out what 3 and 5 would both go into? Yeah, 15. So I'm going to put 15 right here, and then 15 right there. What times 3 equals 15? 5. Yeah, you guys are so smart. Math and ninjas. 3 times 5 equals 15, and then whatever I do here, I have to do up here. 3 times, or times 5. So 2 times 5 equals 10. So let's go ahead and put 10 right there. Again, 5 times what equals 15? 3. So I'm going to take 5 times 3 equals 15, and then I have to write that up here. 3 times 3 equals 9. And that's it. Now we have the denominators the same. All right. So I have 10 fifteenths, 9 fifteenths. Now let's go ahead and add this. All right. 7 plus 2. All right. Ooh, I, for, I'm, I'm, I apologize. I forgot to put the addition sign right there. You're like, well, is that subtraction or is that addition? Um, forgot to put it down. So um, pardon me on that one, but we're going to still move on. <laughs> 7 plus 2 equals 9. So I'm going to put 9 right there. And then let's go ahead and add our fractions over here. 10 plus 9 equals 19 over our denominator, which stays the same, which would be 15. Are we done? What do you notice right here? What do you notice? Yeah, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. We can't have that. We need to change that over to a mixed number or a proper fraction, all right? Don't worry about that 9 right now. Let's just put that 9 to the side here, and let's just work on this, all right? So we just need to do a little division right here. Uh, I'm going to put 19 right here. And how many times does 15 go into 19? One time. 1 times 15 equals 15 right here. Do a little subtraction. 9 minus 5 would be 4. So I'm going to rewrite that. Remember, this is my number. Uh, that's my whole number. This is my numerator, and this is my denominator. So I'm going to go 9 plus 1 and 4 fifteenths, okay? Now I'm still, I'm still not done yet. I need to add 9 plus 1 equals 10 and then 4 fifteenths. Can I simplify 4 and fifteenths? You can't. Is the numerator smaller than the denominator? It is. There it is. If you want to do anything more, you can just write, just draw a little smiley face right here. And there you go. Have a happy day. Hey, thanks a lot for joining the show today. Hey, before you go, hold on there. Before you go, take a look at that link right over there. That's to my new channel called Dino Math. I love dinosaurs. Everything on that channel is related to dinosaurs. We have some cool animations of dinosaurs. Beyblade X with dinosaurs. Mathematics and dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaur crazy. I'd sure appreciate if you can go over there, hit that subscribe button to that channel, also to the one right here, and like always, have a fun day. Adios. Goodbye.